You got him? Got him. Is he good? Not bad. No. I just wasn't what was pecking at it the whole time. No, I just saw it bobbing and then it took off. All right, let's see this thing. River rats, I'm living dangerously. Went and got a little uh, gas station sushi. And we're paddling through some real, real shallow stuff to get to what we hope is the promised land of big fish. Let's go. I don't remember what the best way to get through here was. But that sandbar extends right into that brush. Brian and I are discussing proper navigation of kayaks through water that's in the point one percentile of lowest levels ever. And we're on this river right now. I think the average or median mean flow or whatever is 1200 cubic feet per second. And right now it is 20. It's not good. I'm letting Ryan go first to figure it all out for me. I'll get her. Don't you worry. I have a plan. Look at that gross foam. Did I miss it? By about. By a foot. Oh! <laughs> I missed it by about a foot, too. <laughs> you gotta get in the foam? You gotta get in the foam. Gosh, that's so gross. So much for a clean kayak. Dilution is the solution, and we have no dilution when it comes to our pollution and contaminants. I'll squeak through here, don't you worry. As low as it is, it's crazy that this hole up here is still 10 feet deep. I'm hoping there's some big fish in it. Actually, I know there's big fish in it. It's like, I hope they're hungry. This is like, you can catch big fish this time of year, but I've never like mopped them up or anything like that. It just feels stale when the river levels are low like this and fall starts creeping around and stale and crusty. You coming? I'm right behind you. Sweet. Now I'm the guinea pig. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna make it in your boat here, bud. Yeah, she just choked with timber. We have a special bait. I haven't told you about it. You're not gonna hate it. <laughs> I giggled when I caught it. I'm excited to show you guys this one. This is all Ryan. I take no credit, but I'm happy to use it. Where are you at, big hoss? Oh, there he is. You know how I like green sunfish, right? Two hands. I don't know if he's gonna go the state record, but I hope he catches a state record. That's one of the biggest greenies I've ever seen. It's gonna look mighty fine on a 10 on. The channel hugs that bank. I bet. Like you can see where there's no current and then there's a little bit of current. That's it. That's the channel. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna try to get one at the end of the log and then blow one down on that. Then I'll, what I'll probably do is I'll do fat so over there then I'll probably try to put one there and then I might walk one down there. So you can't get an early one? Yeah. Sometimes they just don't want to roam, you know? Yeah. Sometimes you got to put it in their face. Sometimes they don't care if it's <laughs> in their face. Oh, she tried to fluff up. She tried. That five ounces kept her trucking. Yep. <laughs> Helicopter like crazy, but he's sitting right where he needs to be. <laughs> He might get smashed at about 10.08. That's what I'm calling, 10.08. 
108. I'll probably be way off. <laughs> I'm gonna put me a creek chub on this one. Are you sharp hook? Could be sharper. That's the thing with sharpening hooks. Once you de dedicate yourself to sharpening them, you gotta resharpen them. So I don't have enough things I try to remember. I better add some more. There's some decent creek chubs in here. He ain't bad, but there's better. Oh, there's a good one in there. Where'd he go? I'll take the okay one. I'm okay with that. Oh, there he is. Look at him. Okay. This is going in a very slurpable location. Yep. Put him on the left, and then probably put that other one. This thing flies like edges, so you got drop-offs, current seams, logs. That one's got all three. <laughs> oh, nailed that tree! And Ryan put it in a tree. Yeah. Edges of limbs. Oh, dude, I didn't know you could cast that far. Only when there's trees there. <laughs> well, you have a clear destination then. I watched your uh, creek chub hit the water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> on, Im <Freeze>. on impact. <laughs> All right, big dog. He's not the cra most crazy active bait ever. But it's probably because, oh, there he goes. <laughs> He's big and fat and massive. Might trim his tail. Yeah. Save a lot of clicking. Yeah, you want to, I mean, you'd be surprised how well they swim without a tail. Yeah, show him off one more time. That's my kind of flathead bait. Look at through the tail like any other bait. Got this nice, super wide gap hook. So I can put it in some meat. Don't have to worry about them tearing off. Or shouldn't have to worry about them tearing off. He's basically gonna be a ditty pole. I have to run through a little bit of water, but that's okay in the name of the flathead catfish. He just looks fat swimming around in the water. We're gonna toss him kinda over by that tree. Kinda. I didn't want to get him too close to that tree because I'd be sad if he got tangled in it. Oh, I need a clippy for him. I better hurry up before he yanks my rod in the water. And a lot of people ask me what this is. This is a planer board clip. I'm just full of tips today. It's a planer board clip. You get a big or super active bait. I just leave them clipped on to my hook keeper. Clip it onto your line. Put the reel and I guess now you can see clipped onto the line like that on the hook keeper. Put her in free spool. Oop. Click her on. Free spool. And when he gets smoked, should pop right out. Fish can run with it. No big deal. Listen for the clicker. Come over and catch a 60. At least that's how it plays out in my head. My last rig is gonna be cut. Bait. <coughs> I just ate a bug. It's fine. I was hungry anyway. Using cut bait, cut creek chubs, double hook rig. Twice as likely to snag, but sometimes it, it gets them when nothing else will. So, oh, there's a fish over here. Oh, there's like a dying gizzard shad. More cut bait. Don't get away. What is wrong with him? Oh, he's gross. Never mind. I wish I wouldn't have touched him. Yep, I like that spot a lot too. Now we just wait for a big ugly fish.
No joke, I used to not like to make fires because uh, it was kind of a, I kind of just sucked at it to tell you the truth. But Fire starters make it easy. You can use petroleum jelly on cotton swabs or cotton balls, but uh, they're kind of messy. They take up more room. These guys, these guys are awesome. Bigfoot Bushcraft Fire Starters. Use promo code Spencer Bauer and you get 10% off. And I get a little kickback and it helps me out a lot and I appreciate it. Oh, I just heard a flathead. That one was stubborn. Tear them apart. Stack sticks on them, light them on fire. Done. I do the stick side-by-side -side stick and lay sticks over the top of a method. I don't know if that's actually a method, but that's how I do it. And we will have fire in short order. I find stuff. Yeah, we found a bunch. You ventured further than I did last time, apparently. <laughs> do you hear that flathead pop down river? Uh-huh. Yeah. I heard a carp sucking right before that. Oh, he did? Yeah. Now he's gone. He's gone. Yeah, there's one less carp in this planet. I walked away and now we have fire. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> it's hitting it like a bullhead. Or a gar. I don't think this is our target species. I don't believe it even. Unless it's tiny. Yeah. At least there's life. There is. I think he had a one hitter quitter. Yeah. You got him? Yeah. Is he good? Not bad. No. Definitely I just. It wasn't what was pecking at it the whole time. No. I just saw it bobbing and then it took off. This thing has been getting pecked at for 30 minutes. I hear it. They don't sound bad. No, he don't feel bad. He's not jumbo, but. You sound excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Things are happening. He's a country mile out there. So, uh, oh, he's still clear out there. <laughs> just because something's picking at your bait for a half hour, leave it out there. <laughs> well, them creek chubs are pretty sturdy. Nice. Yeah. All right, let's see this thing. Big chan or flat? Oh, nice flat. flat. Yeah. Nice flat. Oh. Yes. <laughs> that a boy? He took off screaming. Cut bait flathead. He might have ate whatever was chewing on it. <laughs> you know, that's funny, but <laughs> holy cow, I don't think that's he That's a nice fish. I don't know if you could have hooked him any better than that. It's right in that reel. <sighs> that took everything I had. <laughs> Here you go. <sighs> they don't take off running a whole lot harder than that one did, bud. Especially something this size. Hell yes. Like I said, that rod's been bobbing. It's had cut bait on it. It's been bobbing for 30 minutes. I, I was guessing it was a turtle, and then all of a sudden Spencer went, oh, <laughs> and then he took off. You sound like a so. real fishing guide, right? Yeah. yeah, it's a good time. Let's get a quick wait. You got a scale? Yeah. I'm going to bet... 32. Oh, you stole my number. <laughs> <laughs> Since you said 32, I'm going to say 30... Oh, do I go 33 or 31? <laughs> I'm going to go 33. He's kind of broad. Well, you tell me. 32.5 rounds up to 33. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll take it. Not a bad way to start. What time? Well, I said that was the one that wouldn't get hit. <laughs> and I said the one that would get hit was at... It was you called 10 08 on the next one. And 826. Oof. We were way off and that's okay. I'll take it. Here, I'll I'll let him go so you don't have to right. get your feet wet. What a gentleman. My shoes actually dry off. Alright. 
Au revoir. Are you going to splash me? Don't do it. You're thinking about it. <laughs> Don't do it. Well, that's pretty docile. Isn't that cool? The freaking dino. Yeah, I was going to say dinosaur, but I think a gator is more appropriate. <laughs> All right, give me another one, Ryan. I'll do what I can. Okay. Oh, hey. You got him? Got him. I feel like this is a replay of things that just occurred. Different size? Not a 32. <laughs> <laughs> He's acting very channel like. I kept. I was filming the, you, but looking at the rod tip, it's not good when you have a headlamp on. <laughs> yeah, you're skiing him, man. Nice little flat head, I think. I think you're right. Oh, no, I, thought you I, I did too. For <laughs> Here he is. That's Super. that's the eater. That here. is an eater. You know, it's funny. I was like, that rod they ain't even gonna get touched. <laughs> <laughs> Smoked him too, bud. Oh yeah. Cut bay flyheads. Do we keep him or let him go? He's delicious. We got a cooler with ice, but no baggies. I do have a stringer though. I do have a stringer too. Edible. Just save me one side. All right, keep them. <laughs> <laughs> you can have one side, I'll take one side. That's a deal. Yeah, I'll just put them on a stringer, I'll flay yeah. them tomorrow. And then uh, I'll eat half and then freeze half and save you some. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Ryan's hogging all the flatheads. Gosh, what a guy. <laughs> <laughs> you could have had this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, bud. <laughs> The giant sunfish remains untouched. That's gonna be the sixty. That'd be all right. Just bide my time. Yeah, I think that flathead's gonna be gonna be lunch tomorrow. I think I'd be crazy not to. Pretty interesting how huh? we didn't get another bite and once that uh, that moon rose above the treetops. Flatheads are a funny fish. I love them and then sometimes I hate them. Sometimes I scratch my head. But it's nice to fish with Ryan. I'm gonna get take that little flathead though and I'm gonna go turn him into a taco I think. Maybe grill him. I don't know. We'll see in a minute. I let most of my flatheads go, especially the big ones. They just take so long to get big, especially up here in the north, that I feel like every big one that gets butchered just hurts my odds of catching a true giant. But, if we're being honest, they taste too good not to keep a few. So I try to limit it to the small ones because there's just a lot more of them. And reality is nature is a nasty place and most of those little guys will never make it to reach true giant size. Those 30, 40, 50 pounders, they have the best odds. So keep a few one, little ones every year. And for these, I, I did it up today. I got all the fixings, at least all my preferred fixings for fish tacos and pretty excited. I'm glad I got the guac. Well, this is the beginning of my dinner and the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Really appreciate you taking time to watch. Hope you enjoyed it about 1% as much as I'm enjoying these tacos. Hope you catch a giant.